Um, hello everybody, um, I am Professor Pilar, here we are again working in Adobe Animate and in this tutorial we're going to do a quick little tutorial about taking an existing walk and adding an article of clothing. So in this case I chose to work with a floppy hat. So I have my file set up here and this is a walk cycle that I did. Let me turn the hat layer off. This is a hat walk cycle that I did uh, a few weeks ago and um, so I'm just working with my existing uh, file so there is our walk I work rough um, sketchy and rough which is how I like to work and so there we have our character walking across the screen so I decided to I did I worked very simply I worked really rough no details or anything because that's the best way to work in animation get the motion down first and add details later. So I added a hat. Let me name that layer. Uh, I also added another layer where the hat's just stationary so I could have like a size reference. And that's this layer here, the third layer down. And all those layers are locked off. I just have my reference layer, which I'm gonna delete later. And I drew my first frame of my hat. Now the cool thing about doing all of your animation first and then adding your details and overlapping action later is you're getting the main motion down and then once I add my floppy hat action, I'm basically working in straight ahead animation. I'm just going from frame to frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working with my hat. So the character is starting to go like a little further down as he propels himself forward. They propel themselves forward. And maybe starting to add like a little bit of drag to the brim of the hat. I'm gonna add a blank keyframe. Notice I'm working on another layer. I'm working on a different layer. This makes it so you could add as many details as you want. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna have to see how the brim of the hat is flopping up. I'm gonna add another blank keyframe. So now, the character is starting to come up. And I like to toggle between the frames using the playhead. I like to drag the playhead back and forth just to get an idea of the difference between the two frames. And since the character is starting to come up, the hat is starting to, the brim of the hat is starting to come down. So. With follow through and overlapping action, you have all of these different attached items on the character, loosely attached to the character, but moving at different rates. It's helpful to have the onion skin on. So now, oops. So as the character's going up, then it's a floppy hat. So then the Let's see how that looks. That looks good. I could always tweak the size later. So it's a really floppy hat, apparently. So having onion skin on helps. And notice how I'm doing. I'm just having each keyframe line up. That looks good. <laughs> this hat is so floppy. It's pretty much covering up like his whole head. <laughs> I 
then when you play it back in real time, okay, that works. So now, the character is starting to come forward. And maybe like the brim of the hat could start to come up. Now the character's really done. So see how I'm like lining up those keyframes. So when you work in Adobe Animate, it's really convenient that way. And so now the character's starting to kind of come down again. Actually, uh, actually, I almost want to have like the brim of the hat, like almost touching the last position. So now, like really, actually, I could, you could even have some fun. Let me move that over. You could even have some fun, and have the hat start to kind of fly up. <laughs> Let's see how good that looks. I might tweak it later. So if the character's coming down and the hat's coming down, but a little slower. And now the character's coming up. Let's see if that looks good. And now it actually just like repeats. So how the character is coming up. I kind of have like the hat sort of almost suspended in midair, which is not like realistic, but. And then so the character kind of comes up and like meets the hat. <laughs> Oops. Wait. And then now since the characters, you could have some fun with like the brim. So now it just repeats. That was kind of cool, right? I'm going to, of course, clean it up and like paint it so you don't see through it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest. Okay, now we have our floppy hat. So let's go ahead and play it. See? And it's not perfect. It definitely needs some tweaking, but... We have a floppy hat that corresponds with the movement of our character. You could even go totally crazy. Remember to lock off any layer you're not working on and add like a floppy feather to the hat. You could go totally nuts. This is all the principle of overlapping action and follow through. You know? Oops.
Actually, what I would do is I would work in kind of more of an arc. That's better. So even like the feather, you could even uh, imagine the feathers moving at a slightly different r rate than the hat. You can go totally crazy. Like there's no limit to what you can add. Uh, you could add a long tail, a floppy coat. And notice how I'm going frame by frame. Principle of straight ahead animation. Because my character's body, head, and movement are leading the action of the floppy hat and a floppy feather or any other floppy objects you decide to put in there. So there goes our floppy hat, and you can go ahead and add anything else you want. But there we have a walk with an article of clothing hat added. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to save.